I think that Australia has entered a period of deep conservatism um, and I don't even think it's, it's not necessarily related to politics. I think we've, we're entering a period where uh, the national conversation has narrowed. Uh, we've become desensitised to a lot of to the humanity around us. Um, I, I don't really have a good feeling about my country at the moment. And my songwriting, I, I feel the need to express um, myself in a way that it goes directly to address that. And that May Day is a metaphor. It's the emergency signal, you know. But it's also the first of, it's Labor Day. <laughs> ah, so there is optimism amid the despair. There's two sides to it, yeah. What about the element that you say you, you're not happy with, that there seems to be a deep conservatism, but you don't necessarily blame it on politics? What, what, what is the foundation of that, do you think? Well, I, I would say probably, you know, if you really want to call it, I, I think that the, the global discrepancy in, in wealth and, and, and in the world, that, that, that humanity is, is um, we're suffering from the, the consequences of... of, uh, of um, huge inequality between rich and poor. There are just more state, there's more stateless people in the world now than there have ever been. And Australia has got to kind of ride that tiger. And Australians are fearful. keep on dreaming red flags and the sun.